I called this Journey to Excellence as far as navigating the North American Division teacher certification process. And uh, this whole process is um, mapped out in a certification manual. And I say it's a journey because no two of you are on the exact same path. <laughs> You're all starting from a different spot. Um, depending on where you've been to school, if you have taught before, some of you have, um, have state certification, some of you uh, just finished a teacher um, program in a Seventh-day Adventist school. So everybody's a little bit on a different uh, journey. Um, most of the people in this room are on a conditional teaching certificate. Um, meaning that you have not completed all the requirements for getting teacher certification for the area in which you are needing to be endorsed. Some, there are a few who have either um, a Seventh-day Adventist teaching certificate but don't have uh, the elementary endorsement or um, we have state certified teachers, but they don't have the SDA uh, portion of the requirements. So as you start out, the first four requirements that you have all, oh, is something happening? Maybe. <laughs> um, that you've all um, passed the first four checks. Church membership, um, that you are Seventh-day Adventist in good and regular standing. Conduct requirements that you uh, have no convictions of felonies or any immoral or um, a conduct that would put uh, children at risk. The third uh, requirement is that you have a minimum of a bachelor's degree. So um, from either a college or university that's accredited by the um, Adventist Accrediting Association or from a regionally accredited college or university. And the last uh, requirement is that all courses that are used towards your certification must have been passed with no lower than a C minus, which I'm sure you can understand why. Um, the basic requirements, or the first set of requirements, I want to say, is that um, our teachers need to have 12 semester hours of religion classes from a Seventh-day Adventist college or university. And those uh, classes need to cover Seventh-day Adventist Bible doctrines, history of the Adventist church, and spirit of prophecy. Now, back in the days when most schools were on the quarter system, um, history of the SDA Church and Spirit of Prophecy were frequently two separate classes, but under the semester system, those are usually combined into something called Adventist Heritage or something like that. So even though you may see lines of uh, classes or uh, subjects that need to be covered, doesn't mean that each one of those might uh, are necessarily an individual class just depending on some of these things are combined. So 12 semester hours of religion from a Seventh-day Adventist require, or a college or university. The next set of requirements, there are six, which are the, oh, it's showing. <laughs> Yay, thank you, um, are the core education uh, classes. Developmental psychology, educational psychology, and again, under the semester system, those are usually combined. It might be called educational psychology, it might be called developmental psychology, it might have a different name altogether, but usually the, the name of it will indicate um, the basic idea there. Philosophy of Adventist education, educational assessments or testing and measurements, uh, technology in education, um, it might be called educational technology. It might have a longer name, something else. And then the exceptional child, um, that uh, the, the children in your classroom that may need some special accommodations. Um, 
for an Adventist teacher certificate, you also need to have a course in health principles as found in the Bible and the writings of Ellen G. White. Along with those core requirements, you need to have an endorsement. Usually you'll have an elementary endorsement or you will have um, secondary endorsements in one or more core subjects or uh, other things that you might uh, teach in a secondary environment. So there are eight things that um, requirements for elementary endorsement. And those are methods in Bible, health, reading, language arts, math, science, social studies, and multi-grade. And you are covering multi-grade this week. Check that one off. So um, there are uh, others that may be, um, may be combined. I believe that in some of our schools, health and science is combined. Uh, in other schools, you'll see them separate. So, you know, it might be a few extra credits here or there, depending on how they're combined. Uh, for a secondary endorsement, you need a, um, either a major or a minor in that subject area, or at least 18 semester hours in that area of endorsement. And you also need to have a secondary methods course and a secondary reading methods course. And if you are teaching secondary religion, you also need to have the secondary religion methods course. So a secondary endorsement allows you to teach those specific subjects from grade six to 12. If you are picking up some fifth graders, now you need an elementary endorsement. So you can see how things can get complicated depending on what you're teaching. Okay, so if all of those requirements that I just mentioned are not met, you will start with a conditional teaching certificate. And um, each year you would be expected to take a minimum of six semester credits out of that list of requirements in order to renew it for one more year. Um, if you've met everything, uh, you start out with a basic teaching certificate. Usually that means that you have um, graduated from a Seventh-day Adventist college or university with a teaching degree. And you've, you've met all those uh, requirements already. Because after you have taught for three years, which it could take you three years to meet all those conditional teaching certificate, or uh, all those conditions. Um, so once you've taught three years, we don't give you a basic teaching certificate. You need to move on to a standard teaching certificate. A standard teaching certificate means that you've met all those classes I named, you've had three years of teaching experience, and you, get, you pick up another six semester credits of academic courses. Some teachers will choose this time to um, move towards a um, master's degree. Or you can just say, I, I'm just going to stick at the standard level for a while until I get my head together, because I've been taking classes for so long. And um, just take six credits in professional development uh, courses. Um, you know, there, there are so many different things that you can pick up um, uh, academic credit uh, in, in areas that will help you in your uh, teaching. So, as I said, professional teaching certificate is reserved for those who um, have a master's degree plus three years of teaching, uh, plus, now we have some people who will have a master's degree in accounting or a master's degree in psychology, and we, we need to bring you to the master teacher level, which means we require at least two of those, uh, two classes that are from education, um, 
upper class education courses. And, and there's a list of topics that you can choose from. So that's, that's just looking forward. Um, like I said, uh, many of you um, are starting with a conditional teaching certificate. And we will take this journey to where you want to uh, grow professionally. Oh, one more thing. Your um, pay scale is based on the level of certification and your years of experience. So even though you start with a conditional, I'm a conditional plus one year of experience, I'm a conditional plus two years of experience, so you're going to crawl up, you know, climb up that ladder, but once you meet the next level of certification, you're going to see it come up a little more quickly. So um, things to consider. A conditional certificate is valid for only one year. It's renewable by completing those six semester hours from the list of requirements. Um, since you want to get to that next level as quickly as possible, you can take more than six. Uh, the Lake Union will pay. Uh, we have a tuition scholarship program. It covers your tuition cost uh, all the way through a master's degree. And um, so if you, if you want to get to that higher level sooner, you can take more credits than just the minimum six. Is that for any university? Pardon? Is that for any university? Or yes, any accredited college or university. You can, we have, uh, Lake Union is awesome that way because some unions say you can only go to this school, only to go to our, our Adventist school. And, um, we, we pay for Andrews, we pay for Southern, we pay for um, other, other colleges and universities. As long as they are accredited, um, we will pay. You know, you may have University of Phoenix or, yes, Ruth, time's up? Okay. Uh, Yes, we do, yes. Um, for those who are just starting teaching this year, you don't need to take any classes until next summer. We won't cover you until you've already taught for one year and you are going to be teaching next school year. So um, I think that is, is all of that. If you have any questions, come see me. I have a list of um, what, can, what certificate you will be having, and um, I can work with you. So my office is upstairs. I think we're going to be um, giving you some a chance to sign up for appointments uh, to come see me if you want to talk to me. Otherwise, email is fine. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Mm -hmm. um,